Needless to say, this isn't Marvel. And it's somewhat terrifying, actually. Spoilers ahead. Every election cycle, there's always some crazy person warning us about a civil war. But when we think about civil war, it's usually in the context of the historical one, the North versus the South. Here, it's complicated. We never really get why this is happening. But that's by design. The reason doesn't matter. It could have been anything. They leave that up to our imagination. What they don't leave to our imagination is how vile it could get. I mean, it's the United States. There are more guns than people to count them all. The logical way of making a movie about a civil war would be to focus on the people calling the shots. But this one doesn't. Instead, it focuses on the people documenting the shots. Journalists. Specifically, war journalists. I remember growing up watching those Vice News videos about war zones and I always thought I would like to do something like that. I thought that they wouldn't hurt them because they had a bulletproof vest with the word press on them. In this dystopian world, we get to see the end of it, how the resistance takes on the government. We don't know if what the resistance is doing is actually good or bad. The film tries to not take any sides. That's possibly why they used a journalist as a protagonist. Reporters shouldn't take sides, especially if they are war reporters. It can be a dangerous business. Of course, we're all humans and we all have our biases, but in here, Kirsten Dunst's character honestly just cares about getting the shot of the president being shot. She's been in some of the harshest places to be a reporter, having experienced actual killings around here, and just having to take pictures to report on it. In a way, she almost feels cold-blooded. While Jesse struggles with the whole dissociating from reality to capture the moment thing. The film is mostly a showcase of what could happen if the United States started a war on itself. The character development is there. We get Lee to, in a way, pass the baton to Jesse. All of that to get the picture. The film feels very realistic, almost terrifying. Just the thought of something like that happening is deafening. The acting is quite good and the direction is interesting. It almost feels like a documentary itself. It has some drone shots that are a highlight of the film. If you're a fan of dystopian scenarios that are somewhat grounded in reality, this is right up your alley. As much as I liked the concept and the execution, I'm afraid in terms of rewatchability, it's like a 70%. I wouldn't mind rewatching it, but I'm not actively thinking about rewatching it. As much as the images are pretty much burned into my brain, and I hope I never get to see something like that in real life. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.